Hello everybody. This is Kai Ovalapita. I'm going to tell you a story. But not kind of ordinary story. It's a Bible story. The, the title is When God Made Everything. Who made us? The Bible God's Word tells how the human race began. Long ago, God made the every first man and named him Adam. God made Adam out of the dust of the earth. When God breathed life into Adam, he came alive. He found himself in a beautiful garden called Eden. Before God made Adam, he made a beautiful world filled with wonderful things. Step by step, God made hilly places <coughs> and prairie spaces, fragrant flowers and tall trees, brightly feathers, birds and buzzing bees, wallowing whales and slippery snails. In fact, God made everything. There is everything. In the very beginning, before God made anything, there was nothing except God. No people are here <sighs> or takes nothing, no light <coughs> and no darkness, no up and no doubt, no yesterday and no tomorrow. There was only God who had no beginning, then God act. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the and the earth was without form, form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. Then God spoke, let there be light. And there was light. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. On the second day, God brought the waters of the oceans, seas, and lakes into order. Under heaven, on the third day, God said, Let the dry land appear. And it happened. <laughs> God also commanded the grass and flowers and shrubs and trees to appear. And they appeared. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Then God made the sun and the moon and also many stars that nobody can count them. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Sea creatures and fish and birds were, on, were next on God's list. On the fifth day, he made big swordfish and tiny sardines, long-legged orchids, and happy little hummingbirds. God made everything kind of fish to fill earth's waters and every kind of bird to enjoy the land. And the sea and sky and the evening and the morning were the fifth day <coughs> after that god spoke again he said let the earth what's this earth bring forth living creatures every kind of animal and insect and reptile came into being there were earth shaking elephants and busy beavers Mischievous. Mischievous monkeys and clumsy crocodiles, wiggly worms and ch cheeky chunk. Ch oh. ch Blangly giraffes and pouring pussy cats. And kind of animal was made by God that day. And that evening, the sky, morning, were the sixth day. God did something else on the sixth day. Something very special. Very everything 
was now ready for man. There was food in the field, field and animals to serve him. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let him be Lord over everything on the earth. So God created man in his own image. On the image of God, <laughs> he spoke to Adam. Eat what you wish from the garden, but do not eat from the tree of the known rage of the good and evil. <coughs> if you eat from that tree, you will surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make a helper for him. God brought all the birds and beasts to Adam. Adam named them all. He must have been very clever to do so. But among all the birds and beasts, there was no suitable partner for Adam. <coughs> God brought Adam into a deep, deep sleep, removing one of the sleeping man's ribs. God formed woman from Adam's rib. The woman God made was exactly right to be a partner for Adam. God made everything in six, six days. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it a day of rest. In the garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, his wife and perfect happiness, obeying God, God was their Lord. <coughs> their provider. Their provider and their friend. Bye! Mwah. See you again! I love you! Mwah! Mwah!